Paper 22, Mechanics, Advanced Subsidiary, Mathematics. Answer all questions and ensure that your answers to parts of questions are clearly leveled. The total mark for this part of the examination is 30, and there are three questions. At time t is equal to zero, a parachutist falls vertically from rest from a helicopter, which is hovering at a height of 550 meters above ground, horizontal ground. The parachutist, who is modeled as a particle, falls for three seconds before her parachute opens. While she is falling, and before her parachute opens, she is modeled as falling freely under gravity. The acceleration due to gravity is modeled as being 10 meters per second squared. Using this model, find the speed of the parachutist at the instant a parachute opens. We're going to be using the silver equations and I've put them there so that you can refer to them. So we first of all, write down silver, S-U-V-A-T. You write it like that. Su vat. We write that down. Okay. We don't know S. U is zero meters per second. Acceleration is 10 meters per second squared, and the time is three seconds. So the initial speed, because it starts from zero, zero meters per second. Acceleration is the 10 meters per second squared. Time is the three seconds and if you're going downwards it's positive so we would use this first equation v equals to u plus 80 so u is 0 a is 10 t is 3 so 10 times 3 it gives you v to be 30 meters per second when her parachute open when a parachute is open the parachutist continues to fall vertically. Immediately after her parachute opens, she decelerates at 12 meters per second squared for two seconds before reaching a constant speed. And she reaches the ground with this speed. The total time taken by the parachutist to fall the 550 meters from the helicopter to the ground is T seconds. Sketch a speed time graph for the motion of the parachutist for zero up to T. So if we write the silver at S U V A T, now that initial speed for this part is 30, which comes from there. It's 30 meters per second. Acceleration is 12 meters per second squared. And the time is two seconds. Initial speed is 30. So use V equals to U plus 80. U is 30, A is 12, T is two. So 30 minus 12 times two will give you six meters per second. So the velocity would be six meters per second because we are finding the difference in the speed that has, the difference in the speed. So because it has gone from 30, to six meters per second. So it has slowed down with the parachute. So this is what your speed time graph will look like. The speed is on the Y axis in meters per second. Time is on the X axis in seconds. So it accelerates uniformly falling down. So it's three, 30. So at three seconds, it goes to speed all the way to 30 meters per second. And then for two seconds, it decelerates, the speed goes down from 30 to six. So the speed goes down from 30 to six in that two seconds. And then it stays at that six meters per second for the rest of the journey until the time t, which we don't know where it, the time ends. That's the speed time graph. And I have colored them in different section because this yellow part is a triangle and you use formula for the triangle to find this area. This part 
in the middle, which is like brown color, is a trapezium shape, and you use that formula to find the area. And this blue one is a rectangle, and you use formula for area of a rectangle to work out that value there. And when you work out those three, that gives you that part which they would ask you later in the question. For part C, find to the nearest whole number the value of T. Want to find the value of T to the nearest whole number. But we know the total distance is 550 meters. So the area under this velocity time graph gives you the distance. So the total distance is 550. So everything has to be 550. So we add the yellow triangle, the area of the yellow triangle, plus the, the area of that trapezium, plus the area of that rectangle. All of that will be equal to 550. Area of the yellow triangle is half times the base is three, and the height, the base is three, and the height is 30. Area of trapezium, parallel side six, plus 30, times the height between them, which is two. So, sorry, six plus 30 times the height between them, which is two, and then you divide by two. And the area of the rectangle is the, the width times the length. The length is T minus five. So from, from this five to this point T, that gives you T minus five. That's the length of that rectangle. Put that in there, you get 45 for the triangle, 36 for the trapezium. 45 plus 36 minus 30. So you would have 60 would be equals to 499 and C would be 83.16. To the nearest whole number, it would be 83 seconds. So T is 83 seconds. In a refinement of the model of the motion of the parachutist, the effect of air resistance is included before her parachute opens. And this refined model is now used to find a new value of T. How would this new value of T compare with the value found using the initial model in part C? The new value of T would be bigger as the maximum speed would be lower or it would increase or you can say get larger. Part E, suggest one further refinement to the model apart from air resistance to make the model more real realistic. There's the effect of wind, dimensions of parachutist, use a more accurate value for G. Parachutist does not fall vertically after, after shoot opens. Smooth changes in velocity, Time for parachute to open. Deceleration no, is not constant. These are different reasons you can give. You can choose one of them. 